sometimes when we read Scripture, especially the Old Testament, it's tempting to read it as if uh, they know who Jesus is. It's the Old Testament, so Jesus hadn't come along yet. And so they didn't have the knowledge of God through Jesus that we have. But that doesn't mean that we can't still discover Jesus in those scriptures. So I'm going to share one with you now. This is uh, from the book of Deuteronomy. Let's take a listen. Be strong. Be fearless. Don't be afraid and don't be scared by your enemies. Because the Lord your God is the one who marches with you. He won't let you down. And he won't abandon you. Now, when we hear this, our first thought might be that if I'm faithful enough, life will be great. Life will never be problematic. Everything will go wonderfully. God is with me and God is not abandoning me. Good day. But you see the problem with that, right? Is that even those who are remarkably faithful, those who we would lift up as like, you know, kind of the Mother Teresa type, Life is still hard. So I don't think this passage is promising us that somehow life will be different for us than everybody else and will be so much better and not have any hardship simply because we believe in Jesus. I don't think that's what it's suggesting. And if it is, I argue to say it's wrong. Life is hard for everyone. Life is challenging for everyone. So maybe it's promising something a little bit different. Not that God will stop bad things from happening to us, but rather that God will walk with us when the bad things are happening. When life is challenging and throws us curveballs, God is right by our side. When we're going through illness, God's with us in the hospital room, in the chemotherapy session, when we're facing the end of a relationship, a breakup, a divorce, God is with us, with the children, with the family members. God comes by us. And it's not because we're faithful, it's through our faithfulness that we can see that God is with us. We can discover that God is with us. Now you might think, well, that's a strange thing, that God could just make life better, but instead just says, here I am with you in the midst of life. That's a whole other topic. But let's dwell on the fact that God says, I'm going to remain with you. When the waves come up, I'm with you. When the storms creep in, I'm with you. You know, I mentioned earlier that sometimes we forget that they didn't know Jesus. But we have the benefit of hindsight. And it's almost as if we have a God who's willing to take a cross to the top of a hill and be crucified out of a deep love for God's people. The God who is with us who doesn't abandon us, but enters the fray with us. Amen. Amen.